common mistakes to avoid. Not measuring nutrients accurately. Remember, precision is key. Ignoring pH levels. Always test and adjust the pH of your nutrient solution. Overfeeding plants. More nutrients don't necessarily mean faster growth. Stick to the recommended dosage. Not changing the nutrient solution regularly. Fresh is always best. Advanced nutrient management techniques. In this section, we'll dive deeper into the science of nutrient management. We'll explore how to tailor nutrient solutions for different plant species, the role of micronutrients, and how to troubleshoot common nutrient-related issues. Stay tuned for expert tips and tricks to take your hydroponic gardening to the next level. Hydroponic system maintenance. Maintaining your hydroponic system is crucial for long-term success. In this chapter, we'll cover how to clean and sterilize your system, prevent algae growth, and ensure your equipment is functioning optimally. Proper maintenance will help you avoid common pitfalls and keep your plants healthy and productive. Section 10. Organic Hydroponic Nutrients. Interested in organic gardening? This chapter will introduce you to organic hydroponic nutrients. We'll discuss the benefits of using organic nutrients, how to source them, and how to integrate them into your hydroponic system. Learn how to grow healthy organic produce with hydroponics. Troubleshooting nutrient deficiencies. Even with the best nutrient management practices, issues can arise. In this chapter, we'll help you identify and troubleshoot common nutrient deficiencies. Learn how to recognize the signs of deficiencies and take corrective actions to ensure your plants stay healthy and vibrant. First, let's look at some common signs of nutrient deficiencies in hydroponic plants. Yellowing leaves, stunted growth, and poor fruit or flower production can all indicate that something is off with your nutrient solution. But don't worry, identifying the problem is the first step to fixing it. Next, we'll cover how to diagnose specific deficiencies. For example, yellowing leaves can often indicate a nitrogen deficiency, while purple or reddish leaves may suggest a lack of phosphorus. We'll provide a detailed guide to help you match symptoms to the corresponding nutrient deficiencies. Once you've identified the deficiency, it's time to take corrective action. This might involve adjusting the nutrient levels in your solution, changing the pH, or even flushing your system and starting fresh. We'll walk you through each of these steps, ensuring you have the knowledge and confidence to keep your plants thriving. Finally, we'll share some preventative measures to help you avoid nutrient deficiencies in the future. Regular testing and monitoring, using high-quality nutrient solutions and maintaining proper pH levels are all key practices that will help you maintain a healthy hydroponic system. By the end of this chapter, you'll be equipped to tackle any nutrient deficiency issues that come your way, ensuring your plants stay healthy and productive. Ready to grow? Let's get started.